So this is an example of a client that has sway back posture where the hips move forward, the rib cage moves back and the head moves forward, complicated by a protracted or rounded shoulder blade and a tendency to head tilt to the right side. This leaves the right side of the neck vulnerable for compression, the left side vulnerable for overstretching. If we use a wall correction for prone sway back posture, we're going to simply back up until our heels, buttocks, shoulder blades, and head are all against the wall. We're going to correct with an RPI the rounded shoulder by bringing the right shoulder blade back, and we're going to correct the tendency to head tilt to the right with a slight tilt to the left, perhaps even a little bit more than neutral to the left side. As we do this, we're going to engage our rest of our RPI, and we're going to bring the hips back into the wall, the head back into the wall, but move the mid back away from the wall. It's a very slight motion. You can just get your hand or even a slight finger between the shoulder blades and the wall as the head stays back and the hip stays back. Head and hip back, making sure that with the hips, we're keeping the tailbone under and it doesn't raise up and overarch the back and an anterior pelvis as we bring the hips back. And as the head comes back, we're not raising the chin, but keeping it tucked down in good head retraction that opens up the back of the neck, preventing compression on the joints and the discs as our mid-back moves away.